Ganito ang tunog ng Schumann's Resonance. Pakinggan mong mabuti. Lakasan mo yung volume mo. Bale, ito yung old. Yung, if I'm not mistaken, last year pa ito na resonance. And, ito na yung latest na Schumann's Resonance. isa pang mas clearer version ng Schumann's Resonance since June 19. Di ba kakaiba? So, yan yung sound ng wavelengths. Yung electromagnetic wavelengths from yung Earth's atmosphere specifically sa surface to Um, ionosphere. Tignan yung mabuti. This is the visual presentation of NASA via animate.gov. So makikita nyo, nag start yung Schumann's resonance from a lightning. So di ba nag-lightning siya, tapos di ba yung kidlat nag-reproduce siya ng sounds. So yan yung electromagnetic waves na naririnig natin. Pero uh, nagiging ano na siya, low frequency. So Um, pupunta siya sa ionosphere, no? And then, nagbabounce back. So, for example, kumidlat. Mm. Then, nagproduce ng, ng electromagnetic waves na parang, Err! So, ganyan. Imagine nyo na lang, Err! 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 Yung ganun-ganun, paikot-ikot. So, yan yung tinatawag nilang Schumann's Resonance. So, sana naintindihan nyo <laughs> sa aking presentation and explanation din. Mm. As a brief definition, mm, The Schumann resonances are a set of spectrum peaks in the extremely low frequency portion of the Earth's electromagnetic field spectrum. Schumann resonances are global electromagnetic resonances generated and excited by lightning discharges. So, nagagaling siya sa kidlat. In the cavity formed by the Earth's surface and the ionosphere. So, naipakita ko naman kanina yung nangyayari. So, how do you explain Schumann resonance? So, i-explain lang natin ng light. Each lightning burst creates electromagnetic waves. So, kapag may kiglat, nakakaroon siya ng electromagnetic waves, di ba? Yung sinabi ko na, Rrr! o di ba? Tapos, um, that begin to circle around Earth captured between the Earth's surface and a boundary about 60 miles up sa ionosphere. So, naipakita ko naman kanina, siguro yung pag ganun-ganun ng nag-oscillate or paulit-ulit na gumagano yung waves, wavelengths, or yung electromagnetic waves. Tapos, some of the waves, if they have just the right wavelength, combine increasing in strength to create a repeating atmosphere, atmospheric heartbeat. Kaya, narinig nyo naman siguro kanina yung uh, parang kakaibang tunog na paulit-ulit no, na nagbabounce-bounce siya. Kaya, tinawag siyang the Earth's heartbeat, ang Schumann's resonance. O, di ba? So, kapag nagkakaroon siya ng spike, such as more than 7.83, mga 10, 20, 30, 40, mga ganyan, when there are spikes in the SR or Schumann's resonance, we may react to this activity. Tapos, magkakaroon ng uh, neurological, cardiovascular, yung mga ganong effect. So, studies have shown this can alter brain activity. Kasi nga, di ba yung brain natin, um, parang na-activate siya ng impulses. Uh, tapos, ito yung melatonin, uh, serotonin, tapos yung mga neurotransmitters ng brain. Um, resulting in insomnia, depression, anxiety, 
mood swings, ayan, and other psychological, um, emotional, ayan, or even psychiatric issues. Tapos, meron pa dito. High reads on Schumann's resonance have shown to also create dizziness, vertigo, headache, neurological functions, ayan. Tapos, this is because the resonance can disrupt the natural, natural electromagnetic activity of the brain. Tapos, meron pang isa. So, yung heart health natin, uh, changes in the Earth's electromagnetic field can affect heart rate variability. High levels of geomagnetic activity have been linked to cardiovascular events. Uh, mga example is, uh, pwedeng tachycardia or faster heartbeat o kaya bradycardia or lower heartbeat or worst case scenario is arrhythmia. So, yun, mga, yun yung mga pwedeng readings na mangyari sa ating katawan. Tapos, may mga uh, other issues pa sa ating katawan na pwedeng affected kapag nag spike yung uh, itong klaseng resonance na ito. However, may mga beneficial impacts naman ng Schumann resonance dito sa ating katawan or health. So, if na-maintain ang Schumann frequency of 7.83 Hz, so there are positive impacts, uh, such as improve cognitive functions, reduce stress, tapos improve um, lessens anxiety, and then enhance immune function, tapos yung sleep function natin, pwedeng ma-prevent ang insomnia, and then um, marami pang um, siguro mababawasan din yung stress level natin kasi nakakapag-rest tayo ng maayos, and syempre, um, na-maintain yung proper body equilibrium natin. Para sa mga nagtatanong kung bakit may mga alam ako, it's because of reading and research. Kaya uh, ang dami talagang benefits kapag nagbabasa ka from time to time kasi marami kang maa-absorb ng knowledge na pwede itong maging uh, beneficial sa skills mo o kaya sa knowledge mo, especially sa school o kaya sa inyong trabaho. Hmm. Kaya importante na knowledge is power. Uh, this is the simplified version of mine tungkol sa Schumann's Resonance. And yes, I am open sa lahat ng mga criticisms, suggestions, pero wag naman sanang i-bash. Uh, I admit we are not perfect, but I tried my best to explain Schumann's Resonance at the best of my ability. <laughs> o, diba? Kaya mapa-English or Tagalog, pasensya na. Uh, pero... Uh, I hope na may natutunan kayo dito sa video na ito, especially about this particular na nakaka-confuse na Schumann's Resonance. So, I hope na somehow nakarelate din kayo tungkol sa topic. Um, Mag-request lang kayo ng additional topic if you are interested na mag-discuss pa ako ng mga iba pa. So, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much and um, always remember na knowledge is power. Mm, o, ba? Kaya...